well, you know, it's really three things in my mind. First thing is how do you, um, at the board level, at, this, at the C-suite level, really establish that North Star? Because it's not a one-time decision. It's, like, it's gonna be, it's gonna take some time, it's gonna take years, and you need steady actions, steady focus. And so it starts with that embedding profound, very profoundly in our, your organization, decarbonization as a, as a an day to day action. Second thing is really investment grade uh, decarbonization roadmaps. And it's really ingrained and in, in built from data and, uh, and it's very complex. You need a lot of expertise to come in to actually uh, do that. You know, we've been rolling out hundreds of what we call net zero factories, which is really at the plant level. How do you decarbonize one side? How do you get to net zero? And I'm always amazed by the results we see, the number of potential, energy efficiency potential, renewable potential, and all of those um, um, solutions are in the money. They are profitable, bottom line profitable. So there's no excuse not to do them, none. And the third one, I would say, for, from my perspective, is, um, is really how do you continue to uh, change the way you work inside your organization? Because, you know, it's not like any other uh, technical implementation. You know, I hear sometimes that some, some players um, saying, well, we have a plan, execution will take care of itself, in a way. No, it's not so disruptive, it takes so much time, it's so transversal, that if you don't do it differently, it won't happen. And, and basically we see the delay, we see the stalling. So it's great to see all the pledges, but uh, when we say it's time for action, you know, we need doers. We need a lot of doers in our companies. And today, that's I think where we see the, the largest gap.